Worst moves by Lou Lamorello as New Jersey Devils GM. Lou Lamorello is responsible for building a championship caliber team with the New Jersey Devils. In fact, without Lou, the Devils probably would not be as relevant as they are today. In the beginning of his tenure with the Devils, he drafted great and made great signings. However, after the lockout, the same cannot be said because he didn't draft as well and he made some questionable signings and trades. These are his worst trades as GM. Pat Verbeek to the Hartford Whalers for Selvan Turgeon. Verbeek went on to have five 30 plus goal seasons with the Hartford Whalers. Selvan Turgeon only spent one season with the Devils and it wasn't a very productive one. Sheldon Soure, a second round pick in 2001 and Josh DeWolf to the Montreal Canadiens in exchange for Vladimir Malakoff. Malakoff did help the Devils win the 2000 Stanley Cup, but he left shortly after as a free agent. Sheldon Soury was a late bloomer and did not take off until he got to Montreal, but still, he had much more potential to offer than Malakoff. Patrick Berglund has done more than these two players combined, as these two players have failed to stick to the NHL roster. These are the worst free agent signings by Lou. Vladimir Malakoff, two years, 3.6 million per season. Malakoff retired after refusing to report to the AHL after being demoted. To get rid of this atrocious contract, they had to trade their first round pick in 2007. The San Jose Sharks used this pick to select David Perron. Alexander Mogilny, two years, 3.5 million per season. Mogilny's second stint was just bad. He was always injured and was eventually buried in the AHL. Bryce Saldor, three years, three million per season. After a successful playoff run, Lou decided to re-sign Salvador to a three-year deal. This was a terrible deal as Salvador became the resident traffic coach. Anton Volchenkov, six years, 4.25 million per season. This contract should have never been offered to Volchenkov, even though he was a beast at blocking shots and playing a shutdown role with the Senators. He was gonna eventually break down because of the way he plays. Travis Zajac, 8 years, 5.75 million per season. Zajac got off to a great start to his NHL career, but that was because of Zach Parisi. Now it's more apparent that Travis Zajac is a number 2, number 3 center getting paid as a number 1 center. Ilya Kovalchuk, 15 years, 6.67 million per season. Yes, when Kovalchuk signed this deal, he was an absolute beast. But let's face it, he was never going to play the whole entirety of this deal. Three years into this contract, he decided to bolt to the KHL. This completely destroyed the Devils and put them into a state of flux and just sent them into the rebuild mode. The loss of Kovalchuk couldn't have come at a worse time as they just lost Zach Parisi the previous season to free agency. These are his worst picks as GM. David Hale, 2000. Passed on Brad Boyce, Justin Williams, Nicholas Cronwell. 2001, Adrian Foster. Passed on Derek Roy, Mike Camilleri, Jason Pominville. 2006, Matt Carinti. Passed on Milan Lucic, Jeff Petrie, Michael Neuver. 2008, Matthias Tenneby. Passed on John Carlson, Roman Yossi, and Tyler Ennis. 2012, Stefan Matteau. Passed on Tanner Pearson. The Devils were left in a state of flux due to the bad moves that Lou Lamorello made before he left as GM. As many great moves as Lou Lamorello made to make them a good franchise, he equally made as many bad moves to set them back some years. Next episode, Worst Moves by Brian Murray as Ottawa Senators GM.